and welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you guys another full face using drugstore and affordable products. But this one is going to be a little bit more special and informative and just a little twist to my average full face using drugstore and affordable products. This one is going to be featuring some of my all time favorite drugstore products that I think a beginner to makeup or someone who just wants to dabble into drugstore makeup or dabble into makeup um, and don't want to spend a lot of money. This is the video for you. I'm going to be sharing my all-time favorite drugstore products, the ones that I have been reaching for, whether it was years or just been reaching for more than my other drugstore products because, girl, I have a lot. It does not take hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get a good-looking makeup. Um, you can do it at affordable prices. So if you are in high school or just a college student or somebody who struggles with money um, and can't necessarily afford higher end, thing, higher end things, then this is definitely the video for you. This is using every single product that you can find at Ulta, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, anywhere you can find drugstore makeup. These products are all from there, they are under $15. Yeah, keep that in mind. Some of these products you can only, I believe only one, you can only find at like Walmart and stuff, not at Ulta, but everything else is at Ulta and it's super, super affordable. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of my all time favorite drugstore products and how I got this look, then definitely keep on watching. I have two primers that I personally like to gravitate more towards. One of them you can only find at Ulta and then the other one you can find at any of your drugstores including Ulta. So the first primer that I'm talking about is the one that you can find at any single drugstore store and that is the Maybelline Master Prime Prime Base. This is the blur and smooth one. This is such a good alternative primer to the Benefit Professional and this is actually pretty moisturizing so I also like to go ahead and spread it on the rest of my face because it's just it's just such a good drugstore primer. The second one I am going to use, I'm going to use a combination of both of them. You guys will see that a lot throughout the video because I want to go ahead and show you guys all of the products that are from the drugstore and are affordable that I gravitate to towards a lot. <laughs> the next one that I'm talking about is the Catrice Prime and Fine Smooth Refiner Primer. This is the primer that is more like a balm. You guys have heard me talk about this primer so many times. This is such a good primer to go ahead and minimize your pores and it also has kind of like a pink tint that I feel just kind of adds more to the primer itself. This one I like to focus it more on the center of my face because this one only claims to be a pore minimizing one. It's not hydrating or anything and as far as the pink tint, I don't see it coming through the foundation or, or anything. Like it doesn't show any kind of like change in the color. And this one you can only find at Ulta, but it is super, super affordable. I believe it is like $6.99. Okay, so for eyebrows, I do have quite a bit of products that I wanna go ahead and talk to you about. I am gonna be using two of the eyebrow uh, products that I do like, just because I like how they work together. But together they are still cheaper than your average like um, dip brow pomade or your brow pencil from Anastasia. It's still cheaper than that. So the first product I want to talk about is this e.l.f. This is the eyebrow kit. This is in the shade medium. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this plenty of times. I remember back in the day this was an OG like staple in everyone's routine. This year was the first time that I actually tried this product and I fell in love with it. So it has your powder and then it has your wax. So you guys can use it as a combination or whatever you guys want to do. But I like this. I believe this retails for two or three dollars. But I'm going to use it in combination with the e.l.f. brow pencil. This is a natural brown. This, these two products are 
seriously the best drugstore products for your eyes that I have ever used. This retails for $2, I believe. So together it retails for four or five bucks. Like I said, it's still cheaper than your average like high-end eyebrow pencil or pomade or whatever you want to call it so this is really 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 good for your eyebrows and again this you can find at walmart or at ulta and then to go ahead and clean them up i always switch between two different nyx products the first one is the nyx wonder pencil which as you guys can see i'm like down to the like little nub this is pretty much a concealer in a pencil form it's awesome it blends beautifully it's so easy to go ahead and just go around your eyebrows clean them up and then you know blend it out so I really like that and then I also like the NYX above and beyond concealer I believe this is called something different I don't know sometimes on the Ulta website I can seem to find it like by the name but if you go to the actual store they do have it like this so again it is just a, a jar concealer I like to use this as well to clean up my eyebrows but today Today and recently, I've really been liking the pencil uh, just because it's just quicker for me to go ahead and do it. And then, of course, I gotta set my eyebrows in place. So I like to go in with the e.l.f. This is the Clear Brow Gel and Mascara. I don't know why it's called a mascara. I've said it before, but I really like this to go ahead and set my eyebrows. Again, retails for $2. It's way cheaper than any other um, brow gel that I have seen out in the market. So. This makes your eyebrows stay in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I first like to go ahead and start off with the e.l.f. Uh, eyebrow kit. And I go into the wax first and then kinda just fill in my brows. And then I'll go back in with the powder to kinda set that gel in. And then to fill in anything or like kind of like correct it or whatever you want to call it, I go back in to um, my eyebrows with the brow pencil. And that is it for the brows. So now moving on to the foundation. You guys know that I do a lot of first impressions on drugstore foundations because they're just my thing. Obviously, I have really, really like bad acne scarring. I just pretty much have bad skin. So I always strive to find the best full coverage foundation. And there are so many drugstore foundations that I can recommend, that I can recommend to you guys. But if I only had to recommend one foundation out of all the drugstore foundations, that would definitely have to be the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I do have a updated full coverage foundation routine if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Be linked down below, but yeah, this foundation is just so amazing. I've tried so many drugstore foundations, and if you guys want a separate video of me kind of showing you guys an updated, like, best full coverage drugstore foundations, I'll definitely go ahead and I'll do that. But if I had to pick one that I'm always reaching for, it would definitely be this one. I absolutely love even the applicator. I love it. I don't know. It's just it's just such a such a good foundation. Gives me full coverage. It lasts all day. It wears so beautifully. It's just an overall good foundation. I am in the shade F12. So we're going to go ahead and apply it to the face. favorite concealers that I really have been gravitating towards the first one just being hands down the all-time like best concealer 
at the drugstore at the drugstore which is the NYX HD concealer this is in the shade glow I absolutely love this concealer it's very 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 full coverage underneath the eyes it gives me the highlighted effect that I need I absolutely love concealers that have the doe foot applicator 99% of concealers do have this so I just have to throw it out there because there is the very small amount that don't um, just an overall good concealer. It does increase on me. Again, gives me the highlighted effect. Blends beautifully and it's just, it's just such good stuff. And then the second one that I've absolutely been loving is the Makeup Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer. This is in the shade C9. Again, it does have the doe foot applicator and it's just such again such a good concealer I know people have mixed reviews about this concealer but me personally I absolutely love it and it does go hand in hand with the foundation but I do use it all the time whether I am using the makeup revolution uh, foundation or not so today I'm gonna go ahead and mix both of these babies together I am running really really low on this one so that's why I gotta go ahead and mix them together but this concealer alone and this concealer alone perform amazingly but we're gonna go ahead and mix them together concealer I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm gonna say the Cody air spun loose face powder in translucent hands down my all-time favorite setting powder from the drugstore I believe this one you can't get at Ulta I think it's only like Walgreens Walmart Target I'm um, not at Ulta but they really need to get it together because this powder is so amazing such a good setting powder especially if you are oily skin this is gonna go ahead and suck out all those oils it sets everything in place and your concealer will not move so I only like to apply this to the center of my face wherever I did apply that concealer I do see other people use it around their face and stuff but I personally don't like to do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the areas that I apply the concealer and for the size and the amount of like product that you get yeah this is definitely worth the what like six bucks to eyes and you guys this year or 2018 I discovered a new brand at Walmart and at Target I believe that's the only places that I've seen them at correct me if I'm wrong but the brand Pro Fusion like eyeshadows I do have another thing from the same brand let me go ahead and open this guys these eyeshadows are literally so good like I had never heard in, of this brand until I walked into Walmart it was Walmart and I was like kind of browsing around and I came across it wasn't this eyeshadow palette but I came across a different one I can't remember what it was and they literally had the display to like swatch and stuff like that like it was all fancy at Walmart and I like began to swatch them and stuff and I was like what is the Pro Fusion Confidence 21 shade eyeshadow palette and brush? The brush itself is actually very, very good. But if you guys are looking for super affordable, uh, like a super affordable eyeshadow palette, definitely check out the Pro Fusion eyeshadow palettes. I went ahead and I went with this one because this one obviously the shades I definitely gravitate more to, towards these shades but they have so many different selections they have like a smoky brown out a smoky brown out they have like a smoky uh, eyeshadow palette the darks the lights the brown eyeshadow palettes they have so many different like eyeshadow palettes but of course like I said I went ahead and I went for this one and usually they all retail for ten dollars so 21 eyeshadows for ten dollars is not that bad and the quality is so freaking amazing like 
definitely if you guys are a beginner a beginner in makeup and you guys don't want to splurge on a high-end um, eyeshadow palette or if you guys can't afford it go for these these are so good so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade right here this one is the shade switch and I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my transition Now I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Dynasty and I'm going to go ahead and place that orange shade right below the transition shade. So now I'm going to go ahead into the shade Bite and I'm going to go ahead and place that on the center of my eye. And now I'm not going to bring it too far inside. I want to leave the inner corner bare for a different shade. So now in the inner part of my eye where I didn't apply the shade Bite, I'm going to go into the shade Empire and I'm going to go ahead and place that right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of the shade Mascot and I'm going to go ahead and place that in the center of the eye. To go ahead and darken out the outer corner of my eye, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Bombshell and I'm just going to go ahead and place that in the outer corner. that is it for this eyeshadow palette as you guys can see every shade is super super pigmented super blendable the mattes and the shimmers just perform so amazingly so if you guys haven't picked up a pro fusion eyeshadow palette i definitely definitely recommend them especially this one because it is just such an amazing eyeshadow palette for the price you can't beat it. We are gonna go ahead and move back to the face products. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys probably already know that my all time favorite face setting powder is the L'Oreal True Match Setting Powder. This is in the shade W7. No other setting powder compares to this one. If you guys want a little bit more extra coverage on your skin, or let's just say your foundation is a little bit too light and you want something to darken it up, this powder is definitely the one to do it. It makes your skin and your foundation look so amazing and flawless and it definitely is super like pigmented to the point where the color actually transfers on to your skin. I do have other setting powders that are good but they don't add any kind of color. They just necessarily like uh, set your makeup, you know what I'm saying? But this one just adds the perfect amount of color and I don't know it just makes your foundation look flawless I absolutely love it so for blush we're gonna go ahead and hop back on to the pro fusion cosmetics brand this is the six blush blush palette this was only $4.99 and the color payoff is so freaking amazing this palette reminds me a lot i've said it before it reminds me a lot of my custom mac eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow palette why do i always call it eyeshadow palette my custom blush palette it literally to a t it does come with three shimmers three mattes and i don't know it's just it's just such an amazing blush palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use my two favorite shades, shades which are Chic and Excel. You guys have used, have seen me use these blushes or this blush palette so many times. I absolutely love it. And look at that. It's pigmented, girl. It is pigmented. And for $4.99, six, six blushes, you can't beat it. I do wanna say that they do have um, quite a bit of a like kickback but kickback doesn't really bother me as long as the product itself performs the way it should be and you guys will see here in a minute that you can blend it out it, it's just it's just such amazing blush palette so beautiful 
pigmented and blendable powder brush that I use. And we're gonna go ahead and blend it. So to go ahead and highlight, this is, I believe, one of the priciest, or if not the priciest item that I am gonna be mentioning, but it does come with eight different highlighting shades. I do believe this retails for $12.99 or $14.99. I'll leave it up here, but as you guys can see, Look at, look at the beautiful highlighting shades. Oh my God, it comes with your champagnes, your pinks, your rose golds, your golds. So pretty much any wearable shade that you would want is in here. And I'm saying wearable because there are many different kind of highlighters. There's blues, there's greens, there's purples, there's any kind of like fun highlighter but this one is more of your wearable highlighter and for the price oh my god it's so amazing you guys are about to see it in action even though if you guys have watched my videos you guys have seen me use this baby so many times because it's so amazing right now or today i'm going to be using the three top ones so it's your champagne your uh gold and then more of like your pinky champagne colors so i don't even think i described that right but i'm Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it is. You're beaming, honey. You are beaming. Such a good highlighter palette. This is my brow bone highlight. I am gonna go ahead and blend this out. Do not worry. My favorite drugstore setting spray has definitely have to be the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This retails for $12, but honestly, as I was looking around or I've been like looking around, a lot of the drugstore setting sprays are definitely around this price. And out of all the ones that I've tried, this one is the best smelling one as well. It smells really, really good. And this one is more of a le legit like hairspray in a way. Um, it's not just your, let me show you guys another one that I have. It's not like this one that sprays like that. This one is the Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. This is a good one, but it smells so bad. And, uh, I, don't, I don't know. This one smells really, really good. I love the mist. I can't get enough of this one. This one's definitely the one that I have just been reaching for, whether I am doing an all drugstore look, an all high-end look, whatever the case may be, this is just what I've been going to, and I love it. I love how refreshing and good it makes my face feel. So while I go ahead and let that dry, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the mascara and the eyeliner. So all time, hands down, high end, low end, any kind of end, best mascara I have ever tried is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. The original Voluminous Mascara used to be my favorite, but ever since they came out with this one, this one is so good. It separates the lashes, it makes them full, it makes them lengthy. I just absolutely love it. This is definitely compared comparable to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, except I do think this one is a little bit better, and then for the price point, you cannot beat it. And then as far as like eyeliner, I did not ever think that I was gonna switch from a black eyeliner to like a different color eyeliner. And I have absolutely been loving the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. This is in the shade Smooth Charcoal. I really wanna go ahead and get the black one because this eyeliner is just so amazing. It stays on the waterline all day. I used to have a problem where it wouldn't stay on my waterline. It just kind of fade. I've never had the problem of my eyeliner running just 
fading but this one stays on all day and believe me I've tried so many eyeliners so I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera I'm gonna curl my lashes apply mascara and eyeliner and then I'll be right back I just feel that it's boring it's kind of like brows repetitive pretty sure you guys don't want to see it <laughs> okay so the mascara and eyeliner are on and looking good so we're gonna go ahead and finish off with the lips so Obviously, we're gonna go ahead and start off with lip liner and the best lip liners I have pretty much ever tried from the drugstore are the NYX lip liners. They have so many shades and they, I believe they are $4.99. Yeah. I personally love pencil lip liners better than a retractable one or like the Kylie Jenner ones where you actually have to sharpen the plastic part. Now Kylie Jenner uh, lip liners are very, very good. I just wish they came more in a pencil form. It's just easier to go ahead and sharpen. So today for a lip liner, I'm going to be using the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural, which by the way is my all time favorite lip liner. So as far as lipsticks, I personally believe that Maybelline, hands down, takes the crown for best drugstore lipsticks. They have so many shades, finishes, collections. They have a variety of lipsticks. I guarantee you, if there's a shade, they have it in different formulas and finishes and all the good stuff. So today, I'm actually going to go ahead and be mixing. I'm going to go in with the shade Stormy Sahara. This is from the Nudes Collection. And then over top, I'm going to go in to one of the matte. This was, was the matte collection, I believe. This is in the shade Lust for Blush, which is a mauve color. and top it off with some glosses and best glosses NYX butter glosses I absolutely love them I'm gonna go in with the NYX butter gloss in the shade tiramisu I love how pigmented these glosses are a lot of glosses come like with a shade but they end up being sheer these add a little bit of color in my opinion they are not too sticky very very comfortable on the lips i don't like a super super sticky gloss i've had some where it literally makes your lips like like it feels weird super comfortable super pigmented amazing lip glosses i haven't heard anybody talk or use a nyx butter gloss in a minute but girl i am still using them and that is it for today's video these are definitely my top drugstore products these are the ones that i have found myself reaching for the most whether it was over a span of years or just recently just the go-to products that i have absolutely been loving from the drugstore and that are affordable so if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new to my channel and don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you guys are notified whenever i do upload a video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video. Bye.